Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Carey here with my favourite teddy bear, Billy the Bear, and we're here tonight to read you a bedtime story. I've changed out of my PE kit into my favourite pyjamas, and I hope you've brushed your teeth, you've put on your pyjamas, and you've snuggled up in bed ready to listen to Billy and I's favourite story. Tonight's story is called Sharing a Shell, and it's written by a lady called Julia Donaldson. And me and Billy love this story because it's all about friendship and it's all about kindness. We hope you enjoy. Let's go. Look, a crab, a crab with no shell, running along by the sea. You can't come in. You can't share a shell with me or me or me or me. Look, a gull with a wide open beak. Run for your life, crab, hide. At last, in a pool, an empty shell. Quick, crab, scuttle inside. One crab, safe in his shell, under the summer sun, roaming all over the rock pool in his wonderful home for one. Look, a blob, a bright purple blob. What can this blob thing be? Go away, blob, whoever you are. You can't share a shell with me. I'm an anemone, not a blob. Please let me share your shell. Give me a ride to look for some food and perhaps I can help you as well. Oh, look at that fish. Look fish with jaws open wide. Fresh crab for dinner. Here goes. Out shoots a tentacle, quick as a flash, stinging the fish on the nose. Two friends sharing a shell under a sky of blue, romping all over the rock pool in their wonderful home for two. Look, a brush thing trying to get in, wiggling and making a fuss. Go away, brush, whoever you are. You can't share a shell with us. I'm not a brush. I'm a bristle worm. Please let me in. Don't be mean. I love doing housework. I'll suck up the scraps and keep the shell lovely and clean. Three friends sharing a shell down by the sparkling sea, rollicking all around the rock pool in their wonderful home for three. But look how they've grown. The shell is too small. You're all getting too heavy, says Crab. I'm fed up being your taxi. It's time that you find a new cab. Really, says Blob, how ungrateful. Here I am, slaving away, scaring off all of the fierce fishes. If that's how you feel, I won't stay. Peace, cries Brush, but nobody hears. The other two creatures split up. Blob finds an empty ice cream tub. Crab finds a nice paper cup. Crab in the cup, blob on the tub, each one pretends to be glad. Brush, doing both lots of housework, knows they're lonely and sad. Look, a storm, a terrible storm, crashing and flashing all night. Two homes smashed on the rocks. Oh, what a terrible sight. But look, a shell, a beautiful shell. Crab and an anime stare, too shy to speak to each other, too proud to say, shall we share? Listen, a voice, and out pokes a head from the whelk shell washed up by the foam. It's ready. I've done all the housework. Climb on, come in. 
Welcome home. Three friends sharing a shell, happy as housemates can be, rocketing all around the rock pool in their wonderful home for three. Now, I don't know about everybody at home, but Billy and I are really, really tired. It made us really, really sleepy. Thank you so much for listening. We're now going to go for a little rest and a little sleep, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Night-night, everybody.